Hey everybody, it's Lon Saib, and we've got a fun one today. This is a package of NES coasters that we're going to open up. And I did a whole series of little stocking stuffer videos, and this would have been part of that. However, I didn't learn about these until after Christmas, so hopefully this will get picked up in the uh, next year holiday cycle. But I thought it'd be fun to just to unbox these and uh, see what they look like. I really like the packaging. It really uh, is identical to what you would get from an official Nintendo product back in probably the early 90s as the NES was being phased out. It's got that look that we all remember. This is officially Nintendo licensed material here, and these little coasters look like NES cartridges from back in the day. It's made by a company called Paladone. I bought these with my own funds. I was just curious to see what they look like, so we're going to open this up and look at all the cartridges, and I'll tell you some stories about the games represented on them as we go through it. I do want to let you know, though, in the interest of full disclosure, that I paid for these with my own funds. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. No one is paying for this review, nor has anyone reviewed or approved what you're about to see before it was uploaded. So let's take a look at what's in the box now and see what these coasters are all about. All right, so let's open it up and see what these things look like. I want to keep the box intact because, again, I really like the box. Um, so here you go. We got Mario 3 right up front, and they are wrapped up in plastic. So... It's not quite as dark as the original NES cartridges were as far as the color is concerned, but they actually don't look too bad because you've got your cardboard thing in the middle, but they have um, you know, like a smooth printed surface on both sides. So they don't look cheap, they look pretty good. And we've got Mario 3 here. This of course was the US release of it. Now I did pull out my original Super Mario 3 cartridge to see how everything compares. Uh, this by the way is the uh, not rare version of the Mario 3 cartridge. Apparently there's one where the bros is on the left-hand side of the label, and if you have one of those cartridges, it's worth a lot, because that was like one of the earlier variants that isn't very numerous, but of course I've got the regular one here. Now one thing I noticed from an authenticity standpoint, beyond the color of the coaster, is that they took the image from the box for Super Mario 3, not the cartridge label. So if you look here, you've got some marketing text that doesn't actually appear on the cartridge here with Super Mario 3. I still remember the day I bought this. I, we had one of those official Nintendo stores at my local mall, and it was fun to actually see the game in stock because when we were looking around for Super Mario Bros. 2, there was this huge chip shortage, and you could not find this game at all. It was impossible to find. Uh, but here also, Super Mario 2's label on this coaster uh, is from the box, not from the actual cartridge. You can look up some images online and see what the cartridge actually looked like, which did not include the Mario Madness on it. And then we've got a couple of classics here, like Metroid. I never actually owned Metroid, but somehow I have two copies of it here. I think one came with my wife when she moved in, and then another one maybe a friend lent to me or something. Uh, this looks like the box also, but back in the early days of the NES, uh, the labels did mirror the boxes, so I think this one is a little bit more accurate. Uh, this is Zelda, and of course Zelda was sold with a gold cartridge, and if you look behind me on the shelf, you'll see one up there. Uh, this again is coming from the box that Zelda shipped in, not the um, actual cartridge label. And this looks like it's mirrored after the uh, gray cartridge version of Zelda. So the original version of Zelda was gold, and then they re-released it on a gray cartridge. And this looks like it comes from that period of time. Uh, here are some of the uh, black-labeled games. We have the Donkey Kong arcade classics. Like Metroid, uh, they were largely replicating the box design on the cartridge, so they can get away with it a little bit easier here. Uh, we've got Mario Brothers, a game that just about everybody uh, had in their uh, pack in there with their their system. I did not have Mario Brothers included with my NES because I got the one that came with Rob. So you got the Gyromite game for Rob and Duck Hunt, but not uh, Mario Brothers. So I had to borrow this from friends when I wanted to play it. But I did have Duck Hunt, and this looks pretty true to the original there. And then of course we have Excite Bike, which is one of my favorite NES games. This is another one I never owned, but I had a friend that would just lend it to me all the time, so that was something that I played with quite a bit. Uh, let's take a look and see how a mug sits on this now, so you can get a feel for that. So, not bad. I think they'll hold up pretty well. They are cardboard, so uh, they will certainly wear out over time. I can see uh, liquid maybe getting into the paper here and wearing it out, but it's kind of a fun little novelty gift, and it looks like a bunch of little tiny 
NES cartridges. I do wish they were a little bit bigger. It would have been fun to have these be the actual size of an NES cartridge versus something that is a bit of a scaled down version of it. But fun little thing for your coffee table to go with maybe a retro gaming book or something like that. A really fun gift idea if you're looking for something for a retro gamer, and I can guarantee you they're going to love the packaging. That's going to do it for this look at the NES cartridges. Until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Hot Sauce and Video Games, Brian Parker, Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Thomas Anfang, Jim Tannis, and Handheld Obsession. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.